Hey y'all, welcome to Pulmonary Week here at UVerld. Let's get into our first NCLEX question of the day this week. Our question says, the nurse is assessing a client who is experiencing an acute exacerbation of asthma. Which of the following findings would require immediate follow-up? So notice that word immediate is bolded. Um, so we are looking for the most severe situation here, the most severe finding, um, the most dangerous thing. Um, what do we need to immediately report to the healthcare provider or intervene for, okay? Um, so we have a client experiencing an asthma attack. So typically when a client experiences this, we want to give steroids um, to reduce you know, lung inflammation, position them upright, nebulized albuterol, oxygen, those kind of things. So let's think about that kind of as we go through these options. Option one, um, the finding of abrupt discontinuation of wheezing. This is going to be our correct answer because this requires immediate follow-up. Um, this is an ominous sign. We call this silent chest and it is when a client has been wheezing and then all of a sudden they stop. Okay. And what that kind of indicates is we're not moving any air. Um, we are going to be in severe respiratory distress. We may need intubation. This is an emergency that we need to immediately follow up on. Okay. Um, but let's look at our other options. And option two says uh, use of accessory muscles. Um, this is concerning, right? It shows that we have an increased work of breathing. We're trying physically harder to get more air in and out. Um, we would want to follow up, maybe um, give some albuterol or whatnot, but not a higher priority than option one. And then option three, uh, it says a non-productive cough. Um, this like maybe some clients only symptom of an asthma attack. Um, it can happen because of like bronchospasm. Um, you know, obviously if they're coughing, we do want to we do want to notice that and follow up on it, but not a higher priority than option one again. Uh, and then option four is difficulty speaking. Um, this indicates obviously some respiratory distress, right? We're short of breath. We can't get our words out. We definitely want to follow up. We may need some like O2 administration, but again, not as high of a priority as option one. So um, hopefully that helped you guys and we'll see you tomorrow for another question.